Yeah. What up, gang? It's Justin Boone, and I'm back with another video. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thank you guys for being here. I'm really happy and hyped to bring you guys another video yet again. Um, like I mentioned, I want to do videos more frequently. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see, what you're interested in. My last video, I talked a lot about David and Goliath and my newest drop. And today we're going to talk about some of my most recent pickups. So uh, a lot of vintage, um, some stuff that is not vintage, like some newer pickups, some things that I've had for a few months now that I'm excited to show you guys. Not a ton of stuff, but either way, I'm excited to show you guys these. So let's get started. First up, I have uh, this Donna Summers vintage tee. Love this shirt a lot. Um, a lot of this, some of those t-shirts that I bought, uh, some are for me, some are for my wife. This one is more so for her, but this is something that I could also get some wears out of, as you guys can see. Um, it's got a back graphic, which I think is really cool. I love t-shirts with front and back graphics. They're honestly my favorites. Uh, really hyped on this. Single stitched on all the hems. You know how we do. Next up is uh, another vintage tee. Michael Jackson, Bad Tour. This is from 1988. Uh, another front and back graphic. Like I said, I love front and back graphics on tees. Um, they're probably my favorites. This is another one that probably fit my wife better than it will fit me, but something I could wear if I wanted to. Um, something really cool about this shirt uh, is this like Pepsi logo on here. So I guess they had like a, a Pepsi sponsorship for this tour. And then also uh, it has Landover, Maryland as one of the tour stops. And that is actually kind of close to where I'm from. Didn't expect that at all. Next up, I have this Bob King t-shirt, which is definitely something that is more geared towards my sizing, but Telsha will probably also wear it. Uh, another front and back graphic banger. This guitar graphic on the back is sick. Lots of tour stops. This man was busy, uh, but I really love this. The wash on this is great. Another single stitch tee right here. So super hyped on this. Next up for t-shirts, probably my favorite out of the bunch, not gonna lie to you, uh, is this Kiss Tour t-shirt from 77, 78. This t-shirt is absolutely insane. I don't know if you guys can tell how like yellow this thing is, um, but it is absolutely crazy. Like the distressing on this is insane. It has a huge hole in the back, two huge holes. I mean, it, it's just, it's just be If I was gonna count the holes, like we'd be here for another 10 minutes, but it's absolutely destroyed. Uh, but I just couldn't walk away from it. The distressing, the softness, like the fact that this is from the seventies is just like, I just had to have it, so. All right, so next up, um, I have one t-shirt, but it's technically two, I'll show you guys. Uh, I have a Rolling Stones tee, so sick. Another front and back graphic, like I said, but I don't only just have one of these, but two. Same era, same exact tour, same year, same everything. This one, the bigger one is a bit more faded. They're two different sizes, so uh, one I got for Telsha and then one is for me. But I'll put both of them on and let you guys see the comparison in size and fit. Um, this t-shirt is absolutely insane. Love this so much. So I hate to be one of those people that, you know, wear band tees for bands that you don't listen to. But I couldn't pass it up, so sorry, not sorry. This one is a short sleeve crew neck raglan sleeve, which is really sick. So it's this really bright yellow. I don't wear yellow often, um, but I am really excited to have this. I love that it's short sleeve. I might dye it or something, I don't know, but I like the way this fits. I've never owned a short sleeve crew neck before, so this will be sick. I'm not sure what year or anything this is because there's no tag, but um, really like this piece a lot. Really hyped on this. Uh, and this is something that honestly, I wouldn't mind like making in the future. I think this would be cool and they actually are Super functional, like I don't know why people don't make them more. Honestly, probably my favorite pickup for this entire video, probably my favorite pickup of all my vintage, like of all the vintage I have just gotten, this is probably my favorite piece. And it is this agriculture education navy corduroy jacket, so sick. Um, it's got the embroidery, the, the stitching right there. Maddie Thompson, don't know who you are, but thanks for the jacket. A uh, little crest there on the front and then a huge one on the back with Arizona and Safford, which I guess is the city there. This jacket fits so incredible. You guys can see it, I'm sure, uh, in the video, but th this jacket fits insane, like best jacket. Like I'm really happy with a lot of my purchases most recently. With that being said, we're gonna drop down right into our trousers. Uh, so I have two pair of vintage trousers. These ones 
are really cool. They're like this uh, yellow check print, which I love. It's got some brown and some white in there. They're a little short, so I may, I may lengthen them a bit because there's some fabric left over um, underneath in the hem. So I might make these a little longer. I don't know, they could be also be cool, just like a tad bit short with a fun sock and some Vans or something. But really happy to have these. I think this will be a great addition to my closet as it starts getting warmer. Things that I can pop on with just a t-shirt and go. Uh, also probably the perfect pair of pants to skate in because uh, the material nose are super soft and they have some stretch to them too. Uh, and then, like I said, I have two pairs. So the next pair is this brownish color, uh, which fit amazing on the waist. They, they fit me perfectly, uh, but they're just a little wider than I'd like them to be. So um, I definitely want to get these tailored. want to get them slimmed up a bit. I love the crease. I think they're incredible. Um, this texture is really sick. These are like brown and gray. Um, again, just another pant that I think will be awesome in the spring once I get them fitted properly. These next couple pairs of bottoms are not vintage and uh, some things I'm also just really hyped about. I really only shop and buy things that I'm absolutely in love with. Um, and one of those designers and brands that I am in love with and can hardly ever turn away from is Rick Owens. So. I have these Rick Owens crop trousers uh, from Fall Winter 18 Sisyphus collection. They are mainline. Um, I only wear mainline nowadays. I'm not really buying any dark shadow, not any knock to dark shadow or anybody that buys it. I just prefer mainline items. Um, these pants are absolutely insane. I think they'll be great in the spring before it gets too hot. I've already worn them a couple times in the fall, uh, but they're really comfortable. I don't know if you can tell by the material, like these pants are just like, perfect they don't wrinkle they're like cozy everything that i would love about a rick owens pant is right here and especially about the fact that they're cropped love those a lot um next up another support for uh for a friend of mine who is a designer also ethnic also young um just doing an amazing job when it comes to design i think and is really up and coming in this next generation and i hope that he starts to get the recognition and the praise that he deserves um, some of you guys may be familiar, some of you may not, so I'm, I'm happy to be the one to put you guys on, but the brand is Marcel Everett, and uh, it's owned by Garrett Wilson. So, amazing brand, even better guy. These pants are insane. I'm sure you guys can tell by the way they fit. The attention to detail is nuts with the side seams. Like, this pant is absolutely incredible. He missed no steps when it comes to design and detail, so. Really happy to have these. I've worn these a bunch already. I got a size 30. I'm not sure if they're available right now on the website, but if they are, I'll drop the link in the bio. Next up, and last, but certainly not least, of this entire pickups video, are these Andamula Meester shorts. They're big, they're baggy, they're perfect for the summer, I think. I'm gonna get a lot of wears out of these. I'm gonna skate them a bunch. Um, they're so great. These are a size extra small, which is uh, equates to like, a 28, which is not at all ever my size. I'm more of a 30 and 32. I've never worn a 20. I haven't worn a 28 in years, but um, these run extremely big. So I got the 28 and they still kind of fall off um, if I don't wear a belt. They came with these really long drawstrings. I'll drop a picture here so you guys can see, uh, but I cut them out. I didn't, I didn't care for them. Um, they weren't functional for how I'd like to wear them. Like I said, I want to skate them and stuff, but this is where that was. Yeah, like I said, love these. Love how low the crotch is. Really happy about everything. Let me know in the comments below which pickup was your favorite and what you would cop for yourself if you had the opportunity to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.